see an overview of the various agents of sterilization and disinfection. So this slide we have already seen in the previous session. So the various agents can be classified into agents of sterilization which we have discussed in the previous session. Okay, steam sterilizer or, or, or autoclave, hot air oven or dry sterilizer, then ethylene oxide sterilizer, plasma sterilizer and, and various other less common mode of sterilization we have discussed. This session we will be discussing about the various disinfectants. Okay, so, so the, how the disinfectants it, it, it could be high level, intermediate level, and low level are disinfectant. They vary in their uh, properties of killing the uh, microorganism. Then we will uh, summarize the various agents of cleaning. The, the, which so all these agents can also be classified into either they are the physical agents or the chemical methods okay so uh, so this is how the classification of the agents of sterilization and disinfection can be made and without any uh, further delay uh, let us start the first topic uh, that is the high level uh, disinfectant high level disinfectant is what high level disinfectant are those agents which will kill all microorganisms plus or minus killing of spore okay they may kill the spore if you use in in the sufficient concentration and under suitable condition they may kill the spore so uh, uh, so killing of the spore is plus minus but they will uh, definitely kill all other uh, microorganisms the various examples include aldehyde per acetic acid and hydrogen peroxide there is no physical method under this category only the chemical methods are there so let us start aldehyde aldehydes are uh, one of the most widely used uh, disinfectant in the hospital Okay, uh, the common aldehydes which are used in the hospital include glutaraldehyde is the most common aldehyde which is used in the hospital, followed by orthoptaldehyde, okay, and to less extent formaldehyde. So these are the three variety of aldehyde which are used in the hospital. Uh, the mechanism of action of aldehyde include they act by combining the nucleic acid, protein, and inactivating them. Uh, uh, probably by cross licking and alkylating the uh, uh, molecules okay the nucleic acid and proteins by the cross licking and alkylating they will be inactivating them uh, uh, that is how they work and let us start the most important aldehyde uh, that is glutaraldehyde uh, glutaraldehyde it, it is commercially available as sidex uh, there are various uh, commercial product uh, one of the product is called Sidex, it is uh, popularly known as uh, Sidex, and it is used for the disinfection of semi critical items. Please remember that the uh, glutaraldehyde is the most common uh, disinfectant which is used for the uh, semi critical items like scopes. All kind of scopes, uh, that is endoscopes, especially the flexible endoscopes, uh, flexible endoscopes cystoscopes, laryngoscopes, so all a variety of scopes which are the semi-critical item, those items which will enter into a uh, uh, into the site where the normal flora is expected to be present, then uh, glutaraldehyde is the disinfectant of choice to disinfect those uh, scopes. Okay, so this is the most common use of uh, glutaraldehyde. It is usually available in the concentration of 2 to 2.4%. Okay, it is available in inactive form. So you can see that uh, this is the glutaraldehyde. It is always available along with the activator. It is always available along with the activator. Activator is uh, nothing but it is a alkylating agent, alkalizing agent. So what you have to do is when you open the glutaraldehyde uh, uh, box what you have to do is you have to add the activator you have to mix the activator with the uh, glutaraldehyde so that it will be activated once the glutaraldehyde is activated it will work efficiently up to only 14 days so again a drawback of glutaraldehyde is it is available in, in inactive form it has to be alkalized before its use by by adding with the activator uh, solution and once it is active it, it has to be uh, used within 14 days of activation now the uh, duration of uh, disinfection is around 20 minutes so the uh, so the glutaraldehyde at a, at a concentration of 2 to 2.4 percent can be used for 20 minutes for the disinfection of high level disinfection of all kind of endoscopes and uh, laryngoscope etc 
and uh, remember it can be stories or stories idle but for, uh, but for which you have to uh, uh, disinfect for a period of 10 to 14 hours so again the it is a high level disinfectant at times it can be sporicidal but you have to disinfect for a longer duration of 10 to 14 hours other uses of bagotrel they had include it it can also be used for aerial disinfection as well as cleaning okay so aerial uh, disinfection like for example fogging and cleaning of floor and cleaning of uh, surfaces of critical area for which uh, glutaraldehyde is used uh, the commercial product what is available is called as a bacillocid a uh, bacillocid is a commercial product which is a glutaraldehyde combination product okay it is uh, glutaraldehyde in combination with various other product like uh, uh, like quaternary ammonium compound so such uh, commercial products are available which can be used for the disinfection of air okay aerial disinfection also floor and surface uh, disinfection floor and surface of critical areas uh, such as icu and ot those uh, critical areas for the floor and surface uh, disinfection also glutaraldehyde is used along with aerial uh, disinfection so this is another use of uh, glutaraldehyde okay advantages of uh, glutaraldehyde include it remain active in presence of organic matter the most important advantage it, it can remain active in presence of organic matter it has an excellent uh, material uh, compatibility it has certain drawback also the, uh, the major disadvantages include it has an effect over the eyes as well as over the nose so what it causes it has a very pungent odor and it can produce eye irritation respiratory irritation also it can produce on prolonged use so it can lead to occupational asthma on prolonged use healthcare workers may develop and of course contact dermatitis may also be produced on prolonged use so all these are various disadvantages of uh, gutter